Hello everybody, this is Mike and in this video I'll show you how to not have channels. I don't know what the title of this video should be, basically people requested this many many times. Some of you guys don't like the idea of having channels on, so I'm going to show you how to use channels in a way that doesn't enforce you to actually use them. That means you'll be able to have the same system as you had had previously. If you've never used chat control before, uh, don't freak out, it's not going to be hard. What I'll show you basically is how to have one chat over everything. And then also as a bonus, I'll show you how to have Bungie chat um, and also admin chat for your staff and how to hook it up with Bungie and Discord and then also how to have a shortcut so that if I type hello, the message is going to, the message hello, obviously, it's going to go into Bungie chat automatically. So cool stuff. Make sure to stay, stick to the end. Now, a bit of a background why we did what we did, why we uh, make made this change is that originally, originally there has been, there have been, let me just draw here, channels, whatever, you have to stick with my beautiful painting today. There, we have had channels, then we had had formatting, then we had have, we have had uh, admin chat, and lastly, uh, there's been Bungie Chat too. So basically, we had four systems that were ridiculous to maintain. They had a lot of bugs. It was too complicated because I had to maintain the whole code going back and forth between all these four systems, and then it just exploded. So what I did is I took everything and I made very small, um, simple edit. And this person, this is not me. <laughs> it's not me. This person is going to tell you how many systems we have right now. Only one. And everybody is super duper happy. Okay. So I'm not sure what, what uh, this is. This is not a system. So don't worry about it. We don't have any anything else. It's just one system. And we have channels right now. So we got rid of this. We got rid of that. We got rid of this. However, using channels, we've actually upgraded them so that you can now replace this Bungie chat, you can replace admin chat, you can also replace the basic channel formatting, uh, chat formatting with channels. You can replace everything, still get the same result, but it's much easier and much cleaner. Yada. Awesome. So, how do you get this on your server? Well, you, well, first of all, you need chat control red, and then open up settings, and then go to channels. Uh, make sure you set this on. This will turn on the whole uh, system, channel system. And now down, if you scroll down, uh, you can see a list here. Basically, this whole section is fully editable. You can delete everything. You can make anything you'd like. And here above, you can find what keys are supported, what keys you can put there. You can see we have quite a lot. So um, I recommend you maybe just rewrite the same if you want to have the, the same system as we had in Chat Control Pro or if you just want to have a very clean, nice start. So I've installed... And I literally by installing, I mean this standard is the name of the channel. There we go. And then format chat. That's it. Now the channel has been installed. It's going to work flawlessly. So that's how you install um, a channel. There we go. So I've installed the standard channel with the format set to chat. The format is r r residing in the formats file, uh, in the formats folder, in the chat control red. Uh, folder. If you open up chat YAML file, you can see how it looks like. I'm not gonna spend so much time talking about formats. These are these will make your chat beautiful and magnificent. If you want to learn more about it, you need to go to GitHub, chat control red, and then check out our Wikipedia. Now here is the formats article showing exactly how they work and everything. So it's very cool. Alrighty, so now uh, that you know that, let me just go back to settings. Now we have the standard channel, we have the admin channel with the admin chat format. That's also here. By the way, guys, everything here you are getting for free as a free gift if you purchase Ch Chat Control Red. Everything has been pre, um, has been created by default so that you get a very, uh, very rich start. You have more than, I'm not sure how many files are in there, but together with everything in here, you can have over 100 different examples. So, you get the full picture on how you can use this plugin to its maximum potential. And we've created these these all formats for you for free. These are found in the default installation for you guys. 
So this admin chat is going to admin channel is going to use this format, and finally we have the bungee chat using uh, the format right here. And this is also connected to your Bungie server. That means that any other server that's also having Bungie channel installed and that server also has the Bungie channel with the Bungie flag on true uh, will be connected with uh, this Bungie channel. And to enable Bungie cord, you need three steps. So you need step number one is to enable Bungie to true. Oops. Like that uh, for your channel. Step number two is to go and get bungee control and put it on bungee cord. Bungee control is a bungee cord only plugin you get for free if you download Chat Control Red. There should be a zip file containing the uh, both Chat Control Red, which by the way you only should install on your spigot or bucket servers or paper spigot servers. And then it also contains the same folder contains the other jar file called bungee control that you should only install onto your bungee cord network. If you use Redis, then don't do anything else. We will do the rest fully automatically. And then step number three is to uh, step number three is to find the bungee cord section down in the integration section and set the enable flag to true and that's how that's how it's going to work my friends so let me just open up a brand new test server 1.8 from 2035 people still use it so let's just open up this is the latest version 2020 uh 35 sorry yeah, I, don't, I don't know the date is so anyways and let's just find my clips and let's just Whoa. Okay, so this broke down. Uh, <laughs> what's going to happen is if you enable Bungie Cord, you also need to enable MySQL. Okay, very simple. You simply open up this file and you fill out your connection information. But for now, uh, I'll just I'll just make my Bungie disabled so it's easier. I don't have to enable my database uh, because then you you're not going to be able to see the data being saved here. They're going to be saved in a centralized database meaning multiple servers can have the same database so that you can get uh, synchronized server data with your players across your whole network anyways we're now we're now ready to rock and roll in the game and boom there we go now we're in the game that's how it looks like let me type ch and now it says i have no channels and there's only one channel that's available for me why because i don't have any other permission for it now, obviously, you don't want players to be able to type, you know, some weird ch and then standard each time. No, I mean join standard. This is the full command when they join the game. This is frustrating. You want players to join this channel automatically. And I totally understand. And uh, that's why we've added something called the auto join permission. You can go to Wikipedia, then go to channels, scroll down here. And you can see it here, chat control, channel, auto join, channel, and then mode. So this is the channel name. This is the mode. Currently, there's only write and read mode. If you give players the write mode, I believe it will also automatically give them the read mode permission. Um, so you can just grab this permission, then go and you can use some uh, very modern plugin like permissions x not permission sex but permissions x this is the current spelling and then if you edit the uh permissions then you simply copy paste this right here and it's going to auto join the player uh, next time he joins so let me just go to my server reload my permissions and then if i join again i should be in that channel now you should also see a tip message this is by the way by the way all fully up to you if you want to see those messages or not but i highly highly recommend you leave the tips on to learn about the plugin and it's going to tell joining the player into standard in write because the player had this permission so wonderful everything works fine except that i can't find my cross screen there we go and now if i type something i am now in the standard channel so that's how it works. Now this works just fine like you had it previously. If you don't want to use chat channels at all, uh, this is it. This is one channel everywhere. You can just use it and it will, will work just fine. If you want to hook this, uh, hook this channel with your bungee, you're simply going to copy paste 
this here and restart the server, enable MySQL, enable Bungie Court, install Bungie Control, and it, it's going to work like that. Now, if you if you want to use uh, this court, I also promised this. However, this video is not going to get two hours long. In fact, I hope this will go between 10 and 20 minutes max. Let me see how, how that goes. Uh, but if you want to learn how to set up Discord, it's actually very simple. Go to our Wikipedia, search for Discord down here, and then you can watch uh, this video that I've made for you guys very, very recently. And here are the very simple six uh, steps to get your Discord connected with your Minecraft and vice versa. So that's how you do it. Now, moving on, I've also promised the Bungie... Uh, the Bungie and the admin channel. So if you want to have it, it's all it's already in here, but you can't see it. And if I type ch join admin, it's gonna tell I lack that permission. So uh, we'll have to go into our permissions X, and we'll have to type in what the what the game is complaining about. So we need chat control channel join admin write permission. Chat control join. Uh, channel join standard right so you can just copy this and then let's just change it to everything and obviously um not obviously you can just keep it as it is there we go and now i'm still t i'm still typing in the standard channel however i can now type channel join and then there we go now i can join the channel admin and i can type channel join bungee too but you can use the the you can use the shortcut too, so ch join j and then bungee. There we go. Now I'm typing in the bungee channel. If you want to switch back, simply type in channel join standard. There we go. And now if I do ch, uh, you're going to see that we automatically remembered that you had have uh, the write mode for these channels. And now you can read those automatically. So it's automatically going to make your still still be able to see messages even though you're not no longer writing in those channels everything can be customized you can just open up the channels you can set max read channels to zero then this feature will be disabled we also support yeah you can also set this to false then this will be disabled too and then you can also set this to false if you want the auto join permission uh, to respect if I left the standard channel next time I join this, even though I have the auto join permission, I will not be able to join. I will not, I will still be able to join it. Sorry, but the, the system will not join me automatically again. Okay. So let me just say it again. That was not clear. If I type CH uh, channel leaf standard and I can't leave this channel. Okay. Because I I don't have the, that permission, but say you would give players the option to leave their um, their standard channel and you would join the next time if you have the auto join permission you will join to the standard channel again each time you join the game now if you have this option on true and you leave that channel manually next time you join the game the system will detect the auto join permission but it's going to remember that you have left the channel and it's going to respect it and it's not going to force you into it again now you can still join in manually though if you have the uh, channel join permission so that's how it works so that's how it works you can have the admin channel uh, as i mentioned bungee channel if you want to only send messages to these channels you can use the send command for example send admin but i don't have any any permission uh, for that what command is this Chat control channel send. There we go. And then I also have to type in another permission for the particular channel that I want my players to be able to send messages directly in. There we go. And now, whoops, let me just see what's going on here. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure why that TT has popped up, but apparently. That should not be here. I'll check it out later. Anyways, now if I type something, uh, I'm joined in the standard channel. But if I type the ch send admin and then hello, this will then pop up into uh, the hello 
Oh, not into the help channel, into the admin channel. Okay, and that's pretty complicated. If you want to create a custom command such as admin, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into roles and then open up chat and then nope, open up commands. Sorry, because this is a command. And then we have a help up command right here. So all we gotta do is to change the thing to admin. There we go. There we go. And then change this to, and then it's going to automatically forward it into channel send and then admin. There we go. And now next time I'll, I'll type admin. Uh, Ahoy, for example, it's going to automatically send it to the admin channel. So very simple. That's how you can forward messages with one command. Now, if you want to have a shortcut um, for these messages, as I promised with, for example, this one, if I type, if I type, hey, and I start it with the, uh, with the exc exclamation mark, you're going to want to open the rules and then chat uh, or as, and then scroll up here. By default, we should have this here. So send messages starting with the exclamation mark to the global channel. Very simple. It's already in here, but uh, we don't have this channel. We have a channel called Bungie instead. So uh, that's all we're going to do. And then join back into game and then reload. And then if I say something, I am in the, in the standard channel. But if I type something like that, there we go. I should be in the Bungie channel, but I, I don't have the proper permission. So let me just... Uh, let me just give myself the proper permission and that should be it for this video. There we go, Bungie. And then let's just reload, test it again. So that's the default setup. And if I type something with the exclamation mark, there we go. Now it's automatically going to put it in the other channel. Now, obviously channels have so many more options and that's why I highly urge you to go and check out the channels tutorial in our wikipedia you can also read how channels work uh, in depth in here you can also see how to remove messages from channels using the special thing that you can't see right now i'm not sure if we can see it right now yeah we can see it if i am an op operator so you can just remove messages with one click that's very cool and also a lot more including the roles that i've talked about with greater explanation as well as how to configure it with the help for each different key all everything that um you should ever know is in the continuously continuously updated article on our wikipedia so that's it for this video i hope it helped by the way some of you guys have been using the uh, ch and then admin switch uh, command in the old pro chat control so that command no longer exists and if you want to switch to admin channel then you obviously have to type channel join admin and then join your mode and now i'm switched to admin and i can just type to switch back all you gotta do is to type in join standard so that's how the switch has been have, has been replaced to in the chat control red version thanks so much for watching i hope it helped if you still have any issues with it go to our github issues open up a new ticket in here and we'll get back to you soon thank you so much i wish you a lovely day